จ้าข้าพงศ์วายขอตรัสสอนข้าพงศ์ว่าพระองค์เป็นพระเจ้าที่ดีเลิศและพระองค์ทรงเมตตามนุษย์ขอช่วยพระข้าพงศ์จะช่วยเพื่อนคนอื่นที่ยังไม่รู้จักกับพระองค์ให้รู้จักกับพระองค์ผ่านชีวิตของพระข้าพงศ์และความดีของพระองค์อธิษฐานในนามพระเยซูเจ้าอาเมนเหตุการณ์ที่เกิดกับประจักษ์พระองค์เมื่อสองพันปีที่แล้วนะครับอาจารย์พระองค์พยายามนะครับจะช่วยคนในเวลาท่านให้รู้จักพระเยซูเจ้าพระองค์พยายามนะครับจะช่วยคนในเวลาท่านให้รู้จักพระเยซูเจ้าพระองค์พยายามนะครับจะช่วยคนในเวลาท่านให้รู้จักพระเยซูเจ้าพระองค์พยายามนะครับจะช่วยคนในเวลาท่านให้รู้จักพระเยซูเจ้าพระองค์พยายามนะครับจะช่วยคนในเวลาท่านเราทราบนะครับว่าในโลกนี้มีคนประมาณ 7,000 ล้านคนตอนนี้ You know that right now there are 7 billion people in this world เราเชื่อไหมครับคนในโลกนี้ส่วนมากถึง 8-90% เคยได้ยินเรื่องข่าวดีเรื่องพระเยซูคริสต์อย่างน้อยหนึ่งครั้งในชีวิตมาแล้ว You believe that uh, maybe 80 or even 90% of the people in the world have actually heard of the uh, heard of Jesus at least once ผ่านวิทยุผ่านภาพยนตร์ผ่านใบปิวคำพยานสารพัดสื่อที่ออกไปทั่วโลกครับมนุษย์ในโลกนี้อย่างน้อยเคยได้ยิน through radio TV flyers and all kinds of different sources that people in this world have heard แต่คนที่เชื่อพระเยซูจริงไม่สักคน but for those who actually believe in Jesus how many are there แม้ว่าในโลกนี้มีคนเรียกตัวเองว่าคริสเตียนประมาณหนึ่งพันล้านคน Even if there are more than one billion people in this world who actually uh, refer to themselves as Christians แต่คนที่พบพระเยซูเกิดวันจริงผมคิดว่าไม่เยอะเลย But for those who actually met Jesus and have uh, been born again uh, I don't think it's that many ในวันนี้นะครับอาจารย์ประโลจะเปรียบเทียบนะครับทำไมคนไม่ใช่น้อยมาไม่ถึงความรอดมาไม่ถึงการเป็นสิทธิ์หรือสาวกพิเศษจริงๆ Today we're going to see how the Apostle Paul compare and see if those who actually uh, those who came to Jesus that not all of them have actually uh, come to know Christ ในสิ่งแรกที่อาจารย์ประโลเห็นชัดนะครับเมื่อสองพันปีที่แล้วแล้วในวันทุกวันนี้ก็จะเป็นจริงคนไม่ใช่น้อยนะเห็นเพราะเรื่องคำสอนพระเยซูการตายพระเยซูเป็นเรื่องโลกไร้สาระ So one thing that's similar to what we have today as in 2,000 years ago is that uh, many uh, believe that the, the death of Jesus uh, on the cross and his teaching and many of them are actually foolishness ผมเคยเจอนักสนาศาสตร์คริสเตียนบางคนที่เรียกตัวว่าเป็นคริสเตียนนะครับบอกว่าคำสอนเรื่องพระเยซูมาตายไถ่บาปมนุษย์เนี่ยไม่ถูกไม่จำเป็น So there are many uh, scholars and experts, uh, even in uh, Christianity, that said that for Jesus to come and die for the people of the world, that is actually real foolishness. Why he said that? Well, God is able to uh, just forgive uh, everybody without having Jesus going through the cross. So why choose a difficult way of going to the cross? If you ask, why do you think that way? They say, well, we have to think according to our wisdom, to the uh, uh, through reasoning that we can come up with, right? And this is a major question, a major problem we have. The wisdom of God does not go all the way uh, to fulfill the purpose of God. God is the one who uh, uh, created the laws, and He is the one who actually keep, uh, keeps uh, the laws. Every wrongdoing has to be uh, painful. It is about 
who is paying uh, the uh, punishment. We know that Jesus has to pay for the sin of the world or the, of the people because people themselves could not pay for their own sins. We can think it this way that we are in debt and that we are creating debt all the time continuously and are unable to pay uh, the debt. I don't The interest keep on, you know, multiplying, right? We have experience here with uh, education where we have loan, you know, to pay for education, maybe uh, some uh, tens of thousands of dollars, but in 30 years' time, when we pay back, it's like almost a million. Some people have asked me, uh, Pastor, what kind of plants produce the most beautiful flowers? What about beer? Why we don't want to have the dog beer? It's the play and the words here. Uh, okay. is the interest but the word has a word flower in it in Thai or the similar sound. So the interest of sin is multiplying all the time. So then comes on a question that you not to it with that, but pretty potential to talk to it. So the problem of uh, you know for us is that human beings cannot help themselves. That's why God has to help us. And that leads to another uh, problem of the, uh, the, the degree uh, uh, brought out, and that is nobody is going to help other people. Everybody is selfish. And that is the truth. Human beings are selfish. Even when we're able to help others, we still don't really want to. And that is the reason that God uh, has to help us because He loves us. Uh, when I was a kid, I was very perplexed because there was a very beautiful young lady who actually married a guy that's really uh, uh, ugly. Okay, all right. <laughs> really ugly. I was perplexed because, I mean, she's able to, you know, because of her beauty, uh, marry someone who's wealthy, who's handsome, and, 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 you know, all the good stuff, right? But she chose to marry this ugly man. So I asked her before, I said, uh, why did you marry uh, this man? Uh, she said, this man truly loves me. But those that are good looking and wealthy and all, they, they're, they're, not, uh, they're not loyal and they cheat, uh, they, 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 they cheat you. Uh, what about you? What, what, what if it's you? Would you want a husband who is handsome, good looking, but uh, you know, has an uh, adulterous relationship everywhere, in every country, and you are just one of the many wives or concubines uh, or whatever that he has? Or would you choose to marry a man uh, who is faithful and loyal to you and, uh, and loves you? Uh, somebody there from Two days ago, I was reading an article about an athlete, uh, a famous athlete, and he uh, said that. Uh, he actually had married or been with a woman, 300 or 400 
uh, he used the, the phrase that I, I slept with uh, at least 400 uh, other ladies uh, before you. And you're just one of the 400 that I have slept with before. <laughs> so if you have, if you have a wife, maybe you'll slap him left and right and uh, just drop him, right? Yes, he uh, is rich and uh, he is athletic and, and uh, has, good, has great wealth, but if he's life like this, would you want to spend your life with this kind of person? Uh, the Apostle Paul asked, you know, those who are considered wise, and you, but you seek wisdom uh, in, in the world through a different religion or, or belief and everything, and, uh, but yet you have nowhere to actually uh, have a foundation or depend on. So uh, the uh, wise men and philosophers in the past have always uh, debated about your issue in life, and yet they actually have no place to. Uh, the apostle Paul said the most important thing is this: Who is able to help you? Who will help you? And another important thing is this, Apostle Paul wants us to show who God is, not show who we are. Oftentimes we try to compare ourselves with other people and say, oh, I have this better than you, I have this greater than you, but that's actually of no use. But I'm a person who is a person who is a person who is a person who is uh, when I was a kid, I tried to uh, witness to a friend of mine and I tried to find all the answers to his question and I wanted to beat him by giving, providing him with the, with the answer because I want to win. So for many years, he still did not uh, you know, become a believer because he just wanted to go out and find more questions so that he can at least try to beat me and, and, uh, and win. So the apostle Paul is uh, reminding us here it's not about our wisdom and how we can answer all this, but that we need to rely on God alone. I told my students all the time, what have God uh, done for you and helped you? How is God good uh, to you in your life? And how did God uh, help you? Therefore, the people in this world are trying to do everything they can and uh, in their own way because they think that will help them. But we, we found that uh, many of those actually became even more uh, disappointed in life. So the things that they actually need is not another religion or belief, but to know who God is. So the All the wisdom of this world comes from God. God knows everything. Uh, it's meaningless really to try to use our skill in, in uh, being able to debate all this to win somebody. But use the love of God. I use His grace. Use His mercies so that we may share uh, with others. 
And that is what people in this world really needed. And some people say, Pastor, if, uh, if there's opportunity for people in this world to know about God a lot, why do we waste a lot of time to go and tell people about God? Do we have an answer? I believe that when we send uh, people out, we are not just sending them to go and teach. We send out to demonstrate a new life, a new life that so that other people can see how it's different. We are the fruit of the product of what God has done in our lives so that other people can see. And it is the best witness um, or the uh, uh, gospel sharing that people may see you know, God through us. Others will see how God has changed our lives. And how has God helped us? And this is the best uh, testimony. But oftentimes, those that we sent, they were not ready. Or those who applied to go out, they were not ready. And they did not know what they were doing. I grew up meeting a lot of missionaries and I questioned some of them because uh, why do they come uh, why do they go? They live in a big uh, house. They have a lot of servants. They're drivers, cooks, and nannies. And uh, for each week, they only go and teach once or twice. And we only ever see them uh, face to face. Uh, because in Thailand we eat rice and I asked uh, many of them, uh, how often do you eat rice at home? This is actually a, a normal, you know, common question to ask, but I was surprised because they actually said, uh, I eat maybe uh, once or twice a year. I said, so what do you eat? <laughs> so they eat hamburgers and steak and uh, those kind of food, uh, which is Western food now. For 50, uh, some 60 years ago, those are actually very, very expensive food. Now, some days you cannot find, and so I asked them, where do you get all this food? Say, and many of them said, I actually have them sent from America. So after 50 years passed, I saw that uh, there was not a lot of uh, fruitfulness in um, this, uh, people's work. But I saw another group of missionaries, same, came from America too, but after they arrived, they actually went into the wilderness. And they lived with the villagers. And ate uh, with the villagers. And uh, they actually spent their lives as a villager. And I saw that many of these villagers were very impressed with, uh, their, their, uh, with the, how they live. And you don't have to doubt this because not, not long after that, a church began there. Uh, the apostle warned us that many people in the world don't see God because oftentimes we are the obstacles. We are not 
We have not been a good witness. God is love, and yet we did not uh, demonstrate His love. God is good, but yet we do not uh, demonstrate His goodness. So, how are we going to do it? Uh, we have to listen and obey what God uh, is telling us to do. Do not rely on ourselves, but rely on God in everything. If we rely on ourselves, we cannot do all this. Each one of us is selfish. But through God, He is going to allow us to see, to be a, a God uh, centered rather than uh, Do not rely on our own goodness. We don't have, we don't have a goodness to, uh, to really boast. We have to rely on the goodness of God. Do not rely on our wisdom or skills and talents. How much of that of those do we have? Oh, we need what we need to really vote is actually God Himself. God alone can help human beings. And that begins on all of us. We need to rely on God in every situation. Then others will see God in our lives. I believe that in our lives we can do something great, something big for God if we, uh, if we are able to do that. If we allow God to actually utilize our life. So stop living for yourself. Live for God. God has a good plan for each and every one of us. And when God takes care of our lives, we don't have to be we don't have to worry about anything anymore. God is going to lead us and watch over every single step. Every day when we wake up, we just say, God, it is my life for you. Lead me and take my steps. And every night we say, God, thank you for another day. Uh, you help me to uh, walk uh, this day of my life for you. Please lead my tomorrow. And, and that is how we uh, we can have a good start uh, of our day every day and a good ending for every day. Don't wish or expect to uh, win or uh, have victory over anybody by yourself. But live our life the way God desires so that we would be happy. May God help us. Let's pray. Father God, we praise you. Help us, Lord, to learn this lesson from the Apostle Paul. That we may uh, accept ourselves. That we actually don't have anything at all. We rely on you each and every day. And in everything. And that you may receive a, a honor in our lives. And that we may be a good witness to others. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless us all.